I'm an addict for sneakers, 20s of Buddha and bitches with beepers in the streets I could reach her. Yo, what up YouTube? It's your boy Nate Triple OG, often imitated, never duplicated, breaking you the best on beats in the game. I got a fire review for you guys today. I already know what you're thinking. Yo, bro, come on, bro. Them joints already dropped. You know what I'm saying? What took you so long to do the video? I actually did have them around release date, but I did not do a video for it. Man, guess what? I'm doing the video now. Yo, I'm just trying to be consistent for my team. But before we even go into all of that, I need you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the hell out of that notification bell so you can stay in tune with all the videos that I do got coming for you guys. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget, we do have that Travis Scott Jordan 1 giveaway. I am giving it away. As soon as we reach 2,000 subscribers, you will be able to get your hands on my personal pair. I got the receipt and everything inside the box. Everything's authentic. Everything's real. Everything's legit. You will get that pair. Anyway, as soon as we get this 2,000 subscribers, we will be giving that joint away. But let's go ahead and get into the shoe right about now. Boom! You already know what time it is. We got another another nike with the red box the whole you know the fearless collection yo i know what you're thinking like bro how many jordan ones does this guy have how many did he get a whole lot of them you know what i'm saying i got a whole lot of them some people like to call me the the jordan one you know sneaker man sneaker man sneaker man sneaker man sneaker man <laughs> anyway I, I, just, I thought that I thought that shit was kind of funny. Anyway, let's get into it. Do you know what these are? Obviously you do because you've seen the title. Got that size, my money size, so I definitely will put these joints on feet. You won't get the baddest on feet in the game. It's cold as fuck outside, so yeah, you're not gonna get that, but you will get to see how they look on feet. The shirt that I'm wearing today, uh, Chicago brand um, 2048 Chicago. This is where they capsule, uh, their capsule, uh, their capsule uh, pieces, yo. Fuck with the brand, bro. Shit is fire. I definitely will put a link to their website there and the Instagram down below. Check that out. Shit's shit's totally fire. Let, okay, but let, let's go ahead and get into these shoes. Boom. Ooh, you already see it. We got that Chicago blue, that Chicago red, that Chicago bull, that bull's red and Chicago blue Jordan ones, bro. These things are straight fire. Pat leather shining on them. Yeah, bro. I, I rock with these. I rock with these. Tell me right now, off top, off top, which ones do you like better? You like these joints or you like these joints? But you know what I really like? These two joints, even though those were mids, I'm glad these are highs. You know what I mean? Those are mids. These are highs. But these joints is fire. If you haven't seen a review for it, I don't know why you haven't seen one. Yo, I'm just trying to get my subscribers some of my sauce. You know what I mean? Definitely do got that air bubble right there. You know what I'm saying? That Jordan inside the bubble. That Pat Levy got that black, shining black Nike sign. Red on the toe box. Right there. Red sole. Fearless situation. In the inside, as always. And these definitely have that Nike air on the tongue. Now I'm going to lace these joints up and show you guys what these look like on feet. Yo, I am really rocking with these. I'm definitely glad I did get a pair of these. I did not get these on release day. I ended up getting them um, a couple days like later, actually a couple weeks later, uh, and not for a bad price. Me personally, I do think the price of the shoe is gonna go up. I'm definitely trying to get my Jordan 1 collection like all the way up, bro. Like I was looking at, um. Style is a weapon. Her Instagram, bro, inspires me, bro. Like, she got so much fire. She be hitting on everything, bro. And it's like, man, they putting her pictures everywhere. I be like, yo, she got the Jordan 1. Her Jordan 1 game is crazy. She got crazy PEs. You know what I mean? I seen somebody with that same shoe that she has. It's a green Jordan 1. I want to ask this person so bad, like, how they get it. It's a friend of a friend's. Yo. Yeah, this shit, shit is dope. Anyway, 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 I'm gonna get that collection up. But let me go ahead, lace these joints up, let you guys see what they look like on feet. I'm sure you already seen them. We're gonna do a quick on feet. Then we're gonna get right back over here. Discuss the shoe, you know, what it was inspired from and all that jazz. Let's do that right about now.
Yo, so what you feeling at on feet? Yo, these shoes pretty much is a uh, dope to me. I will say one of my biggest pet peeves is lacing up shoes. Bro, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. So I did lace these joints up. I did uh, left shoe with the blue, uh, right shoe with the black, you know. That's real saucy in my opinion. That's not even my style, but I thought I'd do that so you guys can see how they look. Eh, you know, I'm not I'm not too mad at it though. I, I might just leave it like that, you know what I mean? You know, I'm, I gotta, yeah, I don't know. Maybe gotta put a little sauce on there, put a little flavor. Yo, so anyway, so we know for a fact that these shoes were inspired by these two shoes here. We're gonna put them right there, boom, boom, right? So the shoe was inspired by those two shoes, man. And that's pretty dope, man, and I'm glad that they didn't make it a mid like that shoe, like those two shoes, and actually made it a high, man. Being a high, man, I think that really does make a difference. You know what I'm saying? I know that people always say like, you know, like mids, like ain't nobody, nobody's really messing with mids, but so many mids have came out and it seems like the, the, the mids are back. You know what I mean? Like people are actually buying the mids. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I wanna know what you guys think. Yo. The fearless pack. It seemed like there were only a couple of highs. Mostly everything goes with mids. Are you messing with them, yo? Do you prefer mids or do you prefer highs? You know that part. Are you feeling this shoe? I know, like this is my first uh, all pat leather Jordan one in a long time. You know, I've never had the problem with my toe box creasing. I know a lot of people talk about that, the toe box creasing. I never had that issue. I don't. I don't know. Maybe it's the way my foot is. My foot is shaped. Uh, I never had that with like Jordan ones. That's only Jordan Jordan that I've never had that problem with. But you know, anyway, I you know, I rock with the shoe. You know, I'm messing with it. I like the Jordan one. I definitely love this pat leather. You know, it definitely got that shine. I think my biggest uh fear as far as like having these shoes are like one of the problems that I had with my Jordan uh 11s. As like, you know, you know, the shoe gets wet or something. And then that pat leather starts to go dull. You know what I mean? When that pat leather goes dull, then it's like, yo. It just ain't right, and I don't know how to shine pat leather shoes. I looked up on all type of sites trying to figure out, yo, how can I shine them joints? People talking about putting Vaseline on them. People talking about some used fingernail polish. Yeah, I did that to my bread 11s. Thank God that they're coming back out because I fucked those joints up trying to get that shine back. And now they just up in there. That was my favorite shoe at one point. I was wearing that joint to work when I used to work at uh, Walgreens or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I used to wear that joint like crazy. You know what I mean? Today tell me you can't wear gym shoes anymore. Kind of broke my heart. Anyway, so positive quote for today is, yo, yesterday is not for us to recover, you know, but tomorrow it's up to you to win or lose, baby. You know what I'm saying? Put that work in. <coughs> if you a quarterback, you throwing, you throw a pick, you know, don't stop throwing. You gotta keep throwing, baby. You gotta, you gotta keep throwing. If you shooting basketballs, you know what I'm saying? You miss a couple threes, keep shooting. Till you find your motion, get your rhythm, baby. Just keep moving forward. You know what I'm saying? The words of Kanye and uh, what's my man named Kid Cuddy? Just keep moving forward. <laughs> That's all I got, man. I'll holler at y'all guys next time. Thanks for supporting the channel. Make sure you leave that like, that thumbs up, and you subscribe so you stand in tune with everything. You definitely ring that bell, and we're gonna be all good, man. Holler at you guys next time. Peace. No time soon